Hi, I'm Phil. Hola, soy Dulce. Hola, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mikel. And we are Teen Space Cooks. Y somos los Teen Space Cooks. Alright, today's uh, menu is going to consist of some quesadillas. Y hoy lo que vamos a hacer en nuestro menu son las quesadillas. Alright, you guys, so in the past year, one of my really good friends got his own apartment, and he's been having us over for some really interesting dinners. One night we had a pizza making party, and the other night we had a taco making party. And so I thought it would be really fun to have a quesadilla making party with you guys today. What do you think, Kevin? And it sounds great to me. All right. Yeah. Dice Phil que él, en el año pasado, ha tenido muchas fiestas en su casa de su amigo, haciendo fiestas de pizza y de tacos, y quería que nosotros celebráramos una fiesta de quesadillas. Okay, so today the plan is to make some simple quesadillas and some simple quesadilla fillings. So we're going to be using the spinach, um, we're going to be using these ingredients in here to make a really simple guacamole sauce. We're going to be making some caramelized onions, a nice sauteed pepper, and some cooked mushrooms. Y aquí vamos a usar estos ingredientes para hacer los rellenos saludables con espinacas, um, cebollas dulces, y un guacamole con los aguacates. Yeah, sounds good. You'll get the point. All right, so we'll be right back. We'll get started right away. Thanks. And we're back. So the first thing we're going to do here is make our caramelized or sweet onions. Sounds nice. Alright, so cut the tops off. Um, the cool thing about this recipe is that it doesn't have to be too precise or too nice. It can be kind of rough. Okay, so we're going to peel off the exterior layer, the outer layer. Le está quitando la cáscara de encima. Okay, and then we're just going to chop this, whoop, chop this very finely here. Sorry, not very finely, very coarsely here. Okay. Aquí lo está cortando muy, muy, muy feo. Muy feo. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful to keep your fingers tucked behind the knife blade, okay? You, you don't want to get too close because you're going to cut yourself. Okay, and just get those nice long slices. Y que tenga cuidado que no ponga sus dedos muy cerquita del cuchillo, si no, se los mocha, los dedos. Okay, se los mocha. All right, Mikael, as you watch this, can you do me a favor and just coat this large uh, saute pan with some olive oil, please? Y aquí lo que uh, Mikael lo mandaron a hacer es que viene el sartén con um, aceite de oliva. Okay, I'm just going to chop this second half of the onion real quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook these onions over medium heat with a tiny bit of brown sugar and a tiny bit of salt um, so that they sweeten up and we get all those natural oils and juices out of it. Now I don't cook as often as I used to so my knife skills aren't that great but I'm still getting the job done. The more you practice though the better you'll get at it. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so I'm just going to transfer all these nice onions over here to the saute pan. Okay. Aquí lo vamos a poner en el sartén que le echó aceite de oliva. Okay. We got a nice volume on that. And Michele, I was going to have you cut a second onion, but I think we might be okay with just this one. Se mira que um, no necesita de cortar otra cebolla, la una está bien. Okay, Michele, would you bring over the brown sugar though? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I might transfer all these over here. I want you to take a pinch of that and sprinkle it over the top of these onions. Y aquí Michele le mandó que la deseche un poquito de azúcar arriba de las cebollas. Azúcar morena. A little more than that. Let's just dump the whole thing in there, but just oh, spread it out spread evenly. Es que le eche toda, toda la azúcar que tiene en el sartén, en el vasito. Okay, I'm actually going to heat up just a little bit to get the oil heated. Con, le va a poner una lumbre mediana para que se empiece a calentar. Okay. So what we want to do is get these onions to a nice, sweet um, state so that they're going to contrast with all the other fillings, okay? Some of the fillings are going to be sweet, some of them are going to be salty and savory. And you want to have a nice mixture of flavors in your quesadilla. Dice que en este relleno que vamos a tener es un relleno dulce porque quiere que los sabores estén diferentes. Este que sea dulce y los demás que sean salados o picantes. Y este lo va a dar que se cocine, que todo la, el aceite y el azúcar se absorbe en la, 
Okay, so now that we have these onions sizzling, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because I don't want them to burn or to crisp up. I want them to come um, to a nice sweet state at a low heat. Dice que no le va a bajar la lumbre porque no quiere que se quemen, nomás quiere que se cocinen y hagan que se absorban el dulce y entonces no, le va a bajar un poco. Okay, Mikael, you're going to watch these and we're going to prepare some of the veggies, okay? All right. There you go. Cuídalo. Come on over this way and we'll show you some more stuff. Okie dokie, so we have Mikael over there working hard on those onions. How's it going back there, Mikael? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to prepare some of the other vegetables. So what I've done so far is I've cut up one half of a red bell pepper. Hemos cortado mitad de un chile de campana. All I did was take out the insides. I got I cut them in half this way, lengthwise, and I laid them down flat like this. You just run your knife through it just like that until you get pieces that are nice, long, and thin. Todo lo que hizo es partirlo en la mitad y le sacó todas las semillas de adentro. Y le empezó a cortar rebanadas largas, como ahorita lo está haciendo. Okay, and we're going to use that same process with the jalapeño chili. Y vas a usar el mismo proceso con los jalapeños. Now, I don't know how you guys are feeling back there today. Are you guys feeling spicy or not so spicy? Spicy. Spicy, spicy? spicy? Mm -hmm. What kind of spicy? I'll do what I can. All right, so we'll do two jalapeños. And then we'll see how we're doing, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, cut off the top of the jalapeño. And you want to cut it lengthwise like this. And I'm going to take out some of the seeds and some of the insides because you don't want it to get too hot. And we'll do the same thing. Um, actually, I'm going to cut this one in small little pieces because you don't want big chunks in your mouth. Okay. And I lied back there. I'm only going to throw in one because I feel like you guys are pretending to be a little brave for the camera, but inside you're a little scared of the, of the heat. Definitely. Definitely? Not you're, really. You're not really? You think you can handle it? Yeah. So maybe we can have some of these chiles a la mordida as my grandma has them. Los jóvenes quieren comer um, con mucho chile, pero acá uno más quiere cortar uno porque no estoy seguro que, es, que lo puedan aguantar. They can't. <laughs> no se puede. Okay. And so what I'm going to have you do, Dulce, is I'm going to have you, again, like you get it, put a little bit of olive oil in that small saute pan. Lo que voy a hacer es poner aceite en el sartén. Okay. And I'm going to have Dulce start cooking up the red bell pepper and the jalapenos first because they're kind of firm and we want them to soften up. And then we'll throw in the um, mushrooms a little later because they're a little more delicate and they might burn or shrivel up too much if we cook them too fast. Okay, so she's going to cook these first and we'll get these second. Okay, okay Michele's going to watch both of those saute pans. Michele, can you handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. You sure? I'm pretty sure. All right. Medium heat on both of these, and we're just going to saute them until they get nice and soft. Let's go back over here and we'll prepare our mushrooms. Alright, come on over here, come on back. So all I'm doing is cutting up these mushrooms and I'll show you how. You want to get one of these nice big mushrooms and flip it on its head. Okay. In la cabeza, that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> How would you say upside down? Boca abajo. Que vamos a poner los hongos boca abajo. Alright, and you slice them up and down kind of like you would see on a pizza. Nice long pieces. And then when you get to the big fat side, you don't want to slice them up and down anymore because you're going to hurt your fingers. Okay. While I have you guys here, what I'm going to do is chop some garlic up because we want our veggies to get some nice flavor. Ajo. Okay, so you want to get a little garlic clove like this at the side of your knife. Get some anger out. Okay, and then peel that stuff. 
en el ajo, dice que lo ponga al lado de, con el cuchillo, el cuchillo al lado y lo aplaste. Lo aplaste. This one's giving me some trouble. Alright, here we go. We have some garlic. And then just run your knife through that very coarsely. Que lo pase el cuchillo, como dice, un poco feo. Un poco feo. Mm -hmm. que salga feo. That's good. I'll just transfer this over to the peppers and the um, jalapenos. Okay, so we're going to chop up a couple more mushrooms and then we'll toss it in there. Give these, give these about three minutes, then we'll add the mushrooms and we'll cook them nice and perfectly. Got it? Alright, we'll get you back in a couple minutes. Hello. Hello. Hola. And we're back. So we're just going to do a quick uh, progress check with Miguel to see how his peppers and onions and mushrooms and jalapenos are going. So what's the update, Miguel? Well, I just finished adding some more brown sugar to this because I felt it some more and uh, just a dash of salt. Dash of salt. Um, aquí estamos checando lo que hizo Miguel y dice que necesitamos un poco de azúcar y le echó un poco más y un poquito de sal. And so we're going to keep cooking these onions until they're a little more clear or translucent. And the onions themselves are a little more soft because I just bit one right now and it still had a crunch to it. And you don't want these to be crunchy at all. You want them to be nice, soft, and kind of clearish brown. Okay. Dice que las cebollas cuando las queremos que estén que, que estén muy cocidas que no estén duras adentro es porque le tomó un pedazo y estaba un poco cruda adentro todavía y quiere que sean cebollas suavecitas y que sean muy dulces. Same thing for these peppers over here. You want them to be slightly crunchier than the, than the um, onions, but not so crunchy. Okay, so these we can give another minute or two, and then we'll turn them off. Y también con los, los jalapeños y los chiles de campana, que un poquitito, que estén suaves, pero no lo mismo como los, las cebollas. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back with our friend Andrew Andres. Andres, hi. Andres. Hola, ya regresamos con nuestro amigo Andres. All right, Andres, we're going to be teaching you how to make some chunky guacamole, okay? Okay, and so we're going to be smashing some, not smashing, we'll be pressing these lemons against the counter here to get all the juices flowing. We're going to squeeze some of this lemon juice on to this bowl, or into this bowl, I should say. Okay, and we have tons and tons and tons of seeds here. So I started off by squeezing lemon upwards so that I could catch the seeds, but I didn't catch any of the seeds. As you can see, they're all still in the bowl. So we'll have to fish those out later. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I'm decided by yet. <laughs> All right, you say, will you go ahead and squeeze those two lemons in there? Okay. Voy a los uh huh, show them. Así. Así. Y Andrés me va a ayudar. Teamwork. All right, I'm going to sneak away while they're preparing that lime juice. I'm going to start chopping some of these um, shallots. And shallots are a form of onion. Okay. And I like using the shallots because they're kind of sweet, like me. And um, they're just a great addition to this guacamole here. Mm -hmm. and these shallots can either um, be left in these long strips here. Or you can cut them down a little smaller. It's, it's your choice. Okay. Whoops. Did I forget to do the outer layer? I think I did. You guys are going to have a really interesting meal today. 